Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make destructible meshes in, um, this time we're going to do the twin stick shooter uh, project file, just because everyone uses first person shooter, and um, I think it'd be interesting to see in, in another format. It's pretty much the same thing, but let's just make it interesting. So um, let's go to your twin stick shooter template in the blueprints, and go ahead and start with the starter content just to make it simple, and create project. So we're in the twin stick shooter, and let's just go ahead and give this a try and see exactly what it does. So um, we go up, and when we shoot these boxes, they react in a really cool way, and they fall apart. So, or they fall, basically, they simulate physics. So um, let's exit that, and let's make something new. So here's the ship. And there's the boxes. So let's go ahead and go to content and geometry. We'll choose meshes, and here's that one meter cube um, that you see over here. Let's just go ahead and um, right click on that and create a destructible mesh. And um, just to see what it looks like, let's kind of fracture that. Okay, okay so that works. So um, we're also going to enable impact damage so you can run into it and um, destroy it that way. And hit save. Now we're going to close this and um, let's go ahead and drag one in here. And raise it up there. Now um, in our one meter cube we're going to scroll down and choose simulate physics so that it falls into the scene and um, we're going to generate hit events in the in the previous simulator. So we're going to hit play and we'll drive around. You can shoot this way and look at that. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and close this because we're getting some artifacts. And um, let's just build the lighting real quick. But anyway, even before we do that, um, we can let that go and just preview this. And we can drive around and we'll see the original box over here, which we can shoot. And then we see our destructible mesh box. Boom. Look at that. Look how wonderful and cool that looks. That's just the neatest thing, isn't it? And they still react with other physics actors in the scene, so that's really cool. And look, it even kind of stops the ship. It can't get over those. Um, so it's it's really a dynamic effect, which you can turn that off too. You can make them... Um, not collide with your physics actor if you want so that you can drive through it but yeah let's go and try that one more time just because it's kind of fun let's go up here and we can put as many of these in the scene as we want and just really destroy things look at that that's so cool all right so that's it um hope this was a useful tutorial have a good day peace